What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to rewind the clock a little bit and open up a 2020 WWE Topps Finest Hobby Box. So, you are probably noticing a few differences with the setup and the camera today, and that's because my wife and I have finally moved into our new house. The setup's going to look a little bit different in the next few videos while I am tweaking things. In my new city, I decided to, you know, set my priorities and check out the local card stores and one of them had one of these uh, Topps Finest Hobby Boxes in stock and they only had the one and I've never opened uh, any WWE Tops, so I figured this would be a cool set to grab. I absolutely love the look of these of these cards. They're very chrome, very much similar to like AEW Allure. Uh, we should expect to see two autograph cards. I'm really hoping that we don't hit like an expired redemption. But yeah, like the cards just look really, really nice. So we're starting out with a Scarlet. We have a Carmella, AJ Styles, Decade's Finest Superstars insert here of John Cena, and then Bobby Fish to finish off our first pack. So on the WWE side, I like to collect Undertaker. He's one of my all-time favorites, uh, as well as Alexa Bliss. So if we can at least hit like their base cards, I would be very happy about that. We got a Bobby Lashley there. Uh, oh, there's our first auto. It is a Decades Finest Superstars Seth Rollins on-card autograph. We're gonna get that sleeved up here. That is a very, very good autograph. That is a very strong start. Unfortunately, it looks like he might be injured and potentially missing WrestleMania, but hope he recovers soon and might be able to make the show after all. I am very happy with that as our first autograph. Got Alistair Black, we've got Daniel Bryan on the finest returns. Murphy, I think this looks like it's a refractor. Yep, it is. I like how they mentioned the uh, the parallels there on the back. Tommaso and Mandy Rose. Okay, the refractor there, I believe, has uh, been our first parallel. I just double checked. Um, looks like there might be something green in here. I don't know. We'll see. We got a John Morrison there. Yeah, we got Samoa Joe backwards here. This is probably going to be. Yeah, there's a green Samoa Joe. 12 out of 99, that is not bad. That is a very nice parallel. Obviously Samoa Joe, the current AEW world champion, but uh, that is a very, very nice green. Very nice pickup. We'll set him back there next to Seth. We got a Jeff Hardy. We have Shayna Baszler, and then we have a Ricochet. Okay, two packs left in this first little mini box. We are gonna be opening both in this video. We have an autograph and a parallel so far, so I'm not really expecting too much. Maybe just like a couple of uh, inserts here and there. There we go. We've got a Finest Tag Teams insert there of Zach Gibson and James Drake from NXT. And then we got an R-Truth to finish off that pack. I, I love all the R-Truth stuff that's going on with him in the Judgment Day. It's just really, really funny. We've got a Sami Zayn there, more sideways stuff. We got Matt Riddle, also no longer with the company. We've got an Ivar, I believe this looks to be another refractor, it is. We got Bianca Belair and Andrade. Okay, so our first mini box did pretty well. We had that Seth Rollins autograph and a numbered Samoa Joe. I think the concept of redemptions that expire is ridiculous. If you're gonna put redemptions in these packs, then having them expire just feels kind of, just feels kind of bad. We got a Carrying Cross rookie there. We have Velveteen Dream. We've got a finest debut here of Ronda Rousey. We have a Robert Roode, and we've got The Miz. So this might be a set that I, uh, probably gonna be a set that I try to fully complete. I like completing sets. Uh, we might have another autograph or something in here. It feels a little, uh, feels a little thick. We've got Becky Lynch. We have a Sasha Banks, I believe. Yeah, there's our autograph, okay. We got a Sasha Banks, I believe this is a refractor, so I'm gonna try and move the auto to the back. There we go. Okay, so we've got Dakota Kai. We have Kyle O'Reilly. We have Tegan Knox, rookie. All right, there's that Sasha Banks refractor, and let's see who our next autograph is. Boom, a Ruby Riot. Okay, that is not bad. Obviously, Ruby Riot also over in AEW now, going by the name of Ruby Soho, but I do know somebody who likes to collect uh, Ruby Soho over on the AEW side, so I'm sure that uh, they will be interested 
in this Ruby Riot autograph. I'm just very happy that both of the autographs that we hit were not expired redemptions. I will definitely, definitely take that. Okay, we've got Eric, Ruby Riot again. Is this like a parallel or something? No, it's just the design of the card. It just looked a little different to me. All right, we've got a finest tag teams there, Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. So very nice to uh, pick up something with Alexa Bliss on it. And we got Walter to finish it off. All right, three packs left. I believe we should still see like a numbered card. And uh, oh, it looks like we got one of those stone cold die cuts in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got a Daniel Bryan. Otis, let's see what our Stone Cold die cut is. All right, celebrating Raw's 25th anniversary. We got Shorty G and Bray Wyatt. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's opening. I'm hoping we have at least one more uh, numbered card in here. We've got a Tucker. We've got Io Shirai. We have Finest Returns of the Ultimate Warrior. Another Samoa Joe, this is just the base. And then we've got Randy Orton. And here's our final pack. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's WWE opening. I am excited to get back into opening more products now that we are moved and settled. So definitely hit that subscribe button to catch all of our future wrestling card openings. We got Nikki Cross there. We have, I think this is another refractor. Looks like it. Chelsea Green. Let's see. Yeah, that's another refractor. We got Drew McIntyre and Akum to finish it off. Okay, so not bad. We got a good chunk of base there. I don't think we hit any duplicates within the base itself, so that's nice. We then had that Finest Careers die cut of Stone Cold. I think that may have been in place of another numbered card in the second mini box. We got four refractors there. Sasha Banks, Ivar, Murphy, and Chelsea Green. And then a bunch of inserts here. Some Finest Superstars, Tag Teams, Returns, Debuts, etc. Uh, but then definitely the prime hits of the box. We had those two autos. We have Ruby Riot and Seth Rollins both on card, which is very nice. And we have that green Samoa Joe as well. I'm very happy with this box. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's WWE opening. If you want to catch more wrestling card content, click the video you see on screen right here.